Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, come out the bell, good luck to both of you. Ready? How will he look tonight? 13-0, 13, 13 knockouts against Kalajic. Left hook. Huh. Instead of coming out with a jab, he just came right at him. Just look at that upper body of Better B. If you see such a sturdy guy. He's got a guy who physically looks like he would be heavy-handed, doesn't he? He chases no, no, him no, back, no. nearly put him through the ropes. Kalajic has back end going through the white and blue rope. He needed to angle out. You know, Kalajic got to be careful not to get caught with those looping shots. Better be if moves in and throw loop shots, looping shots over the top. I like how poised Kalajic looks right now. He told us in the fighter meeting that Better be if is probably going to come out fast. I'll be ready for it. I got to weather the storms to get my shots. Yeah, Kalajic got to get his jab working, you know, to be able to slow down Better be if. I've never seen Better be if move around so much. You know, normally he's stocking forward, looking to close the gap. Now he's coming forward. Now he's doing a little bit of both this round. The side of the head of Kalaji. Nice short crisp. It's going to come a time, Dre, where he's going to sit in front. He's going to catch, and he's going to try to shoot against Kalaji. That is no knockdown right there. Kalaji had his only loss back in Stop. April of 2016, and it was a controversial one against Marcus Brown. And Brown was fading late, was being pushed around, bullied by Rod in the final round. It was a knockdown that was handed to Brown, a couple that weren't given to Kalajic, and he walked away from that with a really sour taste, then had to deal with the hand issue that we discussed. The reason Better Biev is not landing these big shots is because he's leading with those big shots. Kalajic is skillful enough, and he's been in the game long enough where he can see those kind of shots coming, and that's why he's getting out of the way. Kalajic was touching him just to that belt line moments ago, now dancing on the outside. There's an awkwardness to him that you will see. Long, lanky, wiry guy. Missed 22 months before returning in July 2018 Stop. with that career-threatening hand head. injury. He caught up with Stop. him. Here's what he had to say about it. Condition is lacking blood flow to that right hand. Now here he is fighting for a world championship. No, 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 Round no, no, number stop, two stop. here stop. against the IBF champion, Arthur Betterbiev. Betterbiev just rushing in, coming in behind the jab. There's nothing coming at him, so that's the reason why he's able to get inside and land stuff over the top. Kalajic hasn't established, established a good jab yet. He's moving on his feet and, and, and you know, trying to, you know, keep the distance. But better be as closing that gap quickly on him. Bernardo, what's the early report from the corner of Rod Kalajic? Rick Karanongan said we expected a strong start from Better Biev. All we have to do is keep using angles, use our legs. We've got legs for 12 rounds, and just allow him to smother himself. Hitting behind the head. But Kalajic got to get some respect Stop. Stop. from Better Biev. Better Biev is just getting to where he wants to be all the time. But it's a process. It's only the second round. He's got to find moments like this. To get to let both hands go. That was his best work so far, the combination from Kalajic. That short right hand from Better Biev. Better Biev is, you know, you, you see him, he's brute, he's strong, crude. Stop! Step you back. know, attacks. Step back. He's very methodical in there, Dre. You know, I seen him throw a feint just to get Kalajic in a in a position where he can land a shot. Nice uppercut from Kalajic. That's a shot that's open for him. But Better Biev is sneaky, man. A lot of cleverness in him. Fellas, Better Biev isn't just sneaky, he's physically stronger. Kalajic has a three and a half inch reach advantage. What he no, hasn't no, shown is... Exactly right, Mark. Kalajic is going to depend on how he deals with those storms that Better Biev comes with. Throughout the course of a fight like this, when you have a boxer and more of a puncher, you got to be able to weather those storms and then get back to the game. Here. Right now, he's, he's having a hard time dealing with the pressure. He's got to pick that jab up, and I'm talking about Kalajic. End of two here for the IBF light heavyweight title. Ah! Joe, Tim, Andre, Mark, Bernardo with you here in Stockton, California. As Better BF starts off this third round, where he did the first, coming up charging against stop, stop. Hot Rod Kalajic. Got that nickname Hot Rod because he was wearing a Hot Rod t-shirt in high school and stuck. 
when Better BF charges him, and he's got to make Better BF pay. He's got to hit Better BF with something that's going to get some kind of respect to make Better BF think twice before he charges him. Better BF says, I can do this all night long, but you got to make him pay. Yeah, Better BF lunging forward. His head is getting past his knee when he's attacking. The uppercut is available for Kalijic. But I think he's afraid to throw it because he's been hit with some left hooks from Benavidez. Absolutely, he doesn't want to open up to get hit with right hands like that. But he don't have to take a chance. You got to keep this bull up off of him. And I'm talking about Kalijic. Right on the inside, and it was a right hand that landed for Rob, and then Benavidez comes back and has a short shot that has success with it as well. He's sitting there trading with Benavidez. He don't need to be doing that. He's serving his chin up on a platter right now as he's throwing combinations while he's swinging. He was a little too comfortable sitting in that pocket and trying to trade with better BF. Well, that's the Kalijas that his team told us we weren't going to see, at least early in this fight. I think the boxing isn't working right now for Team Kalijas, so he's going back to the low-hanging fruit, which is stand there and fight. That's not going to serve him well. Not, not with a guy like better BF. Serves the fans, serves the viewers. It's entertaining with the action we're seeing here. But can he sustain it? Trading punches. Look at this. Back and forth they go. Short right hand from the champ. And Kalajic is hurt. Down. Paid the price. That's a technical One, knockdown. The rope two, supported him as the knee was three, going down. Four, five, six. And we saw seven, it coming. Eight, what could potentially be too Stop risky of a strategy, and he just paid the price. The champ in control, having scored the knockdown. That's what happens when you Stop. lose Stop. discipline. You yeah. can still fight in spots at the right time. He's not fighting at the right time. He's just slugging. He threw caution to the stop, wind, stop, stop. and that's why he's potentially going to get caught with another shot like that. You know, he just looks smarter. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's breaking down Kalaiji. It's not just boxing. That's called power boxing from Better BF. Woo. He's hurt. Big round for Better BF. Better BF. Nobody's ever gone the distance with him. 13 knockouts and 13 wins for the IBF light heavyweight champ. And he got Kalajic damaged there in round three and now smothering again here early on in round four. Oh, and here comes Ron saying, I'm going to go for broke, and he scores. Lots of four. Right hand from Kalajic gets turned around and better be if lands a right hand of his own. The fight just broke out. <laughs> Wild stuff here. With the oh, IBF stop. light heavyweight Don't title on the line. See the, the heart of Kalijic, he's game. It's a dangerous affair, you gotta be careful. It's what you call 50-50 fighting. You might get me, or I might get you. Whoever lands first, or lands flush, that's the person that's gonna win that exchange. But the physical strength of Better Be Ed is starting to wear down Kalijic. It's not just the punches, it's the mauling inside, it's, it's the pushing back of Kalijic that Better BF is doing, as well as the body work. And I think Kalijic is still hurt from that last round. He was hurt, he was buzzed at the end of that last round from the right hand. Even this mauling, smothering stuff on the inside. These short left hands that are coming from four inches away are doing damage. He's just getting beat up right now. Bruising. Look at this, that is better. Bruising is a great descriptive for Better BF. A mauling bruiser of a light heavyweight. It's gonna be a looping shot, Dre from Better BF that's going to hurt Kalijic. Do you see a right hand coming around? right hand looping or a left hook as he pulls away. That's the range that Better BF wants to be at right now. That's a danger zone if you're hot rod. And there is the right hand that was able to get around the guard of that left. Then he goes to the body with one as well. Better Jumping right yeah. hand. Overhand right from Better BF. And Rod is hurt again. He's hurt. Wobbly feet, but yet willing to exchange. Oh, he tried to go with a one punch. Knockout of an uppercut that just missed. He wanted it all right there in that uppercut. Better be if maybe lined up for something. His legs don't look stable at all. They haven't for about two rounds. Archer better be if. Will it be 14 for 14? As he comes out, and this fight is over. Better be if retains his title with a fifth round TKO. Big overhand right, right on the temple. As he pulls straight back, and the pressure coming from Better Be if all night long. 
and to destroy the man Kalajic, man. Great stop by the ref. No need to let that continue because it was only going to get ugly yeah. from there. 13 seconds in round number five. A referee in charge stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, improving to 14-0 with 14 knockouts. And he is still the IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Artur Bederbiev. Archer better be a TKO win 14-0 with 14 knockouts. Stick around.